This painting of the Annunciation is by the Italian Renaissance artist Leonardo da Vinci. We see the angel Gabriel announcing to the Virgin Mary that she will be the mother of Christ. Leonardo's composition situates Gabriel at the left side of the picture and Mary at the right. This structure invites us, reading the image from left to right, to begin with Gabriel's arrival and follow the narrative towards Mary. As one of the most popular motifs in 15th century Italian art, the Annunciation had already been depicted by painters such as Fra Angelico, Fra Filippo Lippi, and Sandro Botticelli. However, Leonardo's painting is different from many of his Florentine predecessors. In these earlier depictions of the Annunciation, Gabriel and Mary are enclosed by architecture. But Leonardo depicts this sacred event unfolding in an open garden against a background of expansive nature. The pictorial space in this painting appears to recede endlessly toward a distant mountain. This atmospheric landscape is a manifestation of Leonardo's interest in science and his study of the mechanics of the natural world. However, as we probe the theological content of this painting, how do we interpret Leonardo's interest in nature? How does Leonardo unite his scientific studies in the structures and processes of nature with the sacred motif of his painting? In fact, Leonardo's naturalism supports a meditation on the significance of Christ's incarnation as the entrance of the invisible God into the temporal world. This painting also evidences Leonardo's investigation into how we perceive distance. He employed a technique called perspective to create the illusion of an expansive three-dimensional space. On the flat surface of his two-dimensional image. But Leonardo's exceptional innovation in this painting was in how he used the mechanics of perspective as a compositional device to visually draw Gabriel and Mary together. Since Leonardo is renowned for his scientific drawings of how things work, it seems appropriate to describe the mechanics of his composition by means of a diagram. Imagine that there are two posts joined by a taut wire and consider what happens when this wire is pulled back. As the wire is pulled, pressure is applied to the two posts, pulling them toward each other. A similar mechanics operates in Leonardo's composition. There is an invisible line that joins Gabriel and Mary. That connection is established by their reciprocating lines of sight and gestures. However, as the space within the picture appears to recede into the far distance, there is a corresponding pull on this line between Gabriel and Mary. The further that the pictorial space recedes into the distance, the stronger this connection between Gabriel and Mary becomes. By situating the Annunciation in an expansive atmospheric landscape, Leonardo was able to more effectively employ the structure of pictorial space to draw us into the scene. Since it is our act of looking at this painting that activates its compositional mechanics. Leonardo's naturalism makes us present at the Annunciation. 